Hello, everybody. We are back learning about Math Learning Center apps today. This is the third in the series that I'm doing, and this is good for teachers and students and educators as we learn about how to use these resources at home as we've shifted to this new learning environment that we are in currently. Um, just a reminder, if you haven't seen any of my videos before about this, to get to these apps, you go to the mathlearningcenter.org, and what you do is you go to the tab that says math apps and it's going to bring you to this page right here which says free math apps i've previously done a video about fractions and the geo board and today we are going to do a video on the math clock now when you get to this page um, by the way any of these apps can also be added for free onto an ipad which they're really fun to use there if you're using the web version you're going to want to make sure that you click on open the web app which is right here because if you click on the name what it's going to do is it's just going to bring you to a page that gives you information about the app. So you want to click on open web app to actually access the application. Okay, now this is going to be a great tool if you're working on telling time with students because sometimes this is a challenging topic for students and our kids have adapted over the years to be really savvy in strategies to not learn how to use an analog clock. They use their phones, they use parents' phones. When teachers have things up on the smart board or being projected in the room, there's often time right there for them to look at. Clocks have, are digital in um, cars, so kids have lots of ways to avoid using an analog clock, but it's still a really important skill for them to have. So when you get to this app, you're gonna get a choice. When you go here, this is gonna add your clock, and you can get a clock with geared hands, free moving hands, and you can also get a clock with fractions. So first I'll show you the geared hand one. And how this is made is just like those old classroom clocks that you would have when you were growing up, parents and teachers, where you can move the hands around and it's gonna move the hour hand around as well. So if you want to use a geared clock, then this is what you would use. I'm gonna move that one over to the side and show you a different version. This is a free moving one. So you might pull this one up if you want to go to a specific time and you don't want to have it geared. Like if you want it to be 12.15, you can just move it right to 12.15 and not have the hands moved together. So that is another example of a clock you can pull up. And then you can pull up a clock with fractions. And then this is going to give you a choice of how many parts that you want. Um, some of the terminology that kids don't understand nowadays is half past, quarter past, quarter of. Those are expressions that a lot of us grew up with and just kind of use. Um, automatically nowadays and kids don't understand what those are so if you change that you know you so you might want to go to fourths here and if your kids understand some work with fractions then this might help them understand what that means when we're talking about quarters and halves and things like that so and if I click on this I can actually you know I can kind of fill some things in here I might fill in the different pieces and you know if you're saying half past oh look if it's at the six, it's half past the, it's halfway around. Or if you're saying quarter past, look, one out of the four pieces is colored in. So that's just another tool you can use is this color fill tool down here. All right, I'm gonna click out of that. Okay, some other tools that are on here is, I'm gonna go back to my geared clock. You can put a digital clock down below it. So as you're moving these hands, then you also have the ability to see the digital clock moving down below. And you can do that for any of them. You can also use this to jump time. So if you want to see, um, you might want to get rid of the digital clock aspect of it so that, all right, you're jumping ahead and students have to figure out what time it is now. Then jumping ahead five, you can change this. You can change this to 10 minutes if you want to. So it's going to jump ahead 10 minutes can change this to 15 minutes if you want to. Whatever sort of time jump you want to add into that box, you can. So that's another tool that you can use as you're working on these. Okay, um, this little feature right here, I just touched this button right here. This is an elapsed time feature. So if you click on that, you can move the clock hand. Oops, click on this again. Uh, you can move your clock hand and it's going to leave a green shadow as you move forward in time and this is if you want a student to calculate how much time has gone by they can see what's shaded in green and then be counting up those minutes to figure out how much time has passed if you go the opposite direction and we want to see 
how long ago something happens, we can go in the reverse and we can go backwards. If we're going backwards, then it shows in red. So we can look at elapsed time that way. Some other features of this application is you, we all of these applications have a way that you can do some writing. So for this one, and I think you can grab this and move it around. Let's see if I can, maybe not in this case. So I'll move my screen um, projector over here. So if you wanted to be writing something, like let's say you want these 15 minutes plus 15 minutes equals 30 minutes, done. You can move that and have that equation on your screen as well. So that's another tool that you can use. You can also have students write. So let's say that you wanted them to come up with a problem. Joe had to be at his um, friend's house in 15 minutes. He started walking there at three o'clock. I'm just writing this in really quickly and I didn't even really thoroughly think through what the problem was, but you can see how students can, can write in that. And then when you click done, that can also be moved around. So you can put a problem next to a clock that you're working with. Uh, this little feature down here is a um, is to give you a bar to draw with. So if you wanted to have students, they clicked on the line there, if you wanted them to actually draw something on the clock, that tool is available. This tool draws straight lines. So if you want to draw a line like that, you can do use that. You can change the color of your lines. Then it also has erasers where you can go back and erase what it is that you drew as well. So that's a fun tool for students to use as they're working on this. And then anytime, if you wanna get rid of something in your drawing, you don't like it, you can click on the trash button. Or if you wanna copy something, you can click on this and it will duplicate that clock for you. So those are, again, you can throw something away or you can duplicate something. And if you want to get rid of the entire screen, this little button over here will have you redo. And I'll show you that in a minute. But that's basically the um, application um, for time. And great to use if you don't have one of those little uh, clocks at home where you can manipulate the hands or a lot of homes don't even have analog clocks on them anymore. So get this out, play around with it, have students play around with it, have, come, have, come up with problems together. I think you'll have a really good time working with this app. All right, thank you. And here I'll show you I can clear the screen. Yes, and it's gone. All right, thank you for listening.